Kristen, you are top chef! You can win top chef? Of course. If I didn't, I wouldn't be here. I started modeling. When I was 13 years old, I won the title of Model Boston for 2007. But being a chef and cooking is hands down the most important part of my life. English pea broth with a little bit of poached lemon peel that was poached three times, a little bit of diced up apple, the seared scallop, and creme fraiche. Why'd you poach it three times? To pull out the bitterness. Hmm. Kristen, one of the best soups that I've had in a long time. Thank you, chef. I'll see the two of you in Seattle next week. Thank you. Congratulations. Simplicity makes things difficult because you have four or five ingredients that all have to be done perfectly. If one's off, it can throw the entire thing off. You want to make sure everything is perfect. Kristen made the mushrooms. She did a great job. Yeah, the mushrooms are great. They're they're not great really. Job. A, see, I thought they'd be containing a lot more moisture and be really wet and buttery, but no, they're no, white. She, she knows how to she knows how to cook. Yeah. What, what can I do with mushrooms? Did, were you, was that going through your head? Yeah, I was like, well, two side dishes. It's like fried onions and mushrooms. Like, it's not that hard. And the winner is. Kristen. Awesome. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah. Oh I did a toasted sage matcha and goat milk custard with a cornmeal and goat yogurt sauté, And then I have the tay berries that were macerated in extra virgin olive oil. Thank you. You're welcome. Stephanie, please announce the winner. All of you guys made such amazing dishes today. But the winning dish was very unique, highlighted the berries in just a perfect way. And I think it was one dish that didn't have any sort of flaw or anything that we'd want to change at all. And the winner today? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've never won so much money for just cooking and doing what I do. So it's pretty exciting. Yum. Where's the gelatin? Holy I thought that was done. We have 30 minutes. The original plan is to thicken the bouillon base broth with gelatin, so when you charge it in the ISI, it comes out nice and frothy. You know what? Skip gelatin, add some cream. Cream and soy milk. I can't put in the gelatin because the stock is still on the stove. It still has the bones. It's not done. I had a vision going in, and now it's just all done. up. Restaurant Wars always a tough challenge. Kristen, your restaurant was very ambitious. Conceptually, it was a tough one to pull off. On one hand, we have Josie, who, in my opinion, abdicated all responsibility for making sure this dish came out. And on the other hand, we have Kristen, who just took maybe too much responsibility, and maybe rightfully so. It's, it's your concept. It was a tough decision to make. Mama? Josie. You're safe. Kristen, please pack your knives and go. Thank you. Thank you, Kristen. It's okay. I think Josie's more shocked than Kristen is right now. Mm -hmm. She took responsibility. You sleep in the bed you make. It may appear that I was covering for Josie, but I was the leader of the team. And as the leader, you take on the responsibilities, whether they come out good or bad. No, really? Yeah. What? Went out taking on too much responsibility. I do. Oh, I love you. I understand that people want to save their own asses. I get it. I do too, but at least I know I'm going home with my integrity intact and without backstabbing anybody else. I'm ready to fight my way back into the finale. I'm going to do everything that I can to get there. So CJ's won six battles in a row. Record. I feel a little nauseous. A little nauseous? Let's go! go, go. This is hard. That's like lighting a bong. Ha! <laughs> Winning chef is? Kristen. Here you go. Good luck. Kristen pissed. My hands are shaking. Winning chef is Kristen. Karma. <laughs> of course it is, wifey. I knew it. The winning chef is Kristen. Last Chance Kitchen is going to get me back.
I'm gonna do everything I can to get there because I want to be in the finale. I want to win. And the winning chef is Kristen. <laughs> it all comes down to this. You're gonna have to face the finalists and save a chef. The winner of Last Chance Kitchen is. Tom has just crowned the winner. The winner of Last Chance Kitchen is. She is probably my stiffest competition, but I'm ready. Let's do this. Kristen, welcome back. I know you've had quite a journey. So how does it feel to be back, Kristen? I'm, I'm definitely happy, but just as nervous as always. Hey, Kristen. How you doing? You. I'm good. Sorry for the mess. <laughs> no, it's OK. You guys are a little floppy here. What's going on? What are you making? First course is um, Brussels sprout leaves, duck riette, and then the chestnut um, velouté. Velouté is essentially a really rich, creamy soup. This time around, I'm going simple. Not boring, not safe, but I'm just focusing on simple, clean flavors. Next course is the tuna. OK. And then dessert is a chocolate thing. Chocolate. Oh, you don't, that, that, that tells me you don't know what it is yet. OK. Have you at all changed your approach? Is there anything that you've picked up? Um, sometimes simplicity. I, I think I try to do too much in a very short amount of time, and it kind of screws me. Do you think that's why you were so successful in Last Chance Kitchen? Because you only have 30 minutes, usually, to put something together? Yeah, and I had no time to overthink it. Right. Which was good. Kind of like, kind of like today, for sure. All right. So this is Kristen's chestnut velouté and the little duck riette. The raw Brussels sprout gave that little kick to it. I thought the riette was fine, but you just would never serve a seared riette like that just by itself. You'd have bitterness from pickles. You'd have cornichons. It's just a touch of acid it would make yeah, a huge yeah, difference. Just... Kristen, that means you're in the finale. Thank you. Congratulations. You fought your way back. Now I just have to edit my menu. And have to compete against you. Oh. Ugh. To have the spot in the finale is amazing. This is exactly what I was looking for during Last Chance Kitchen, trying to make my way back in, and I did. Feels weird. Knowing that the title is one challenge away, and I want it, I can feel it. Who would have thunk? I know, that'd be us. Mm-hmm. Kind of cool. Fun. Yeah. Kristen, you're up 2-0. If you get Tom's vote, you are top chef. Kristen, you are top chef! Yeah, I won. <laughs> I won top chef. <laughs> everything to me. Being the second female top chef is fantastic, oh but God. at the end of the day, I just wanted to win regardless. Oh, I'm just so proud of you, Mom. So proud of you. I'm going to go back to work, because I absolutely love it, and make myself a better person and make myself a better chef. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> 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 very near future, uh, a trip to Korea for me. Thanks for having this whole Last Chance Kitchen thing. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of worked in your favor, but, yeah. but you know what? You actually were able to hold your, your head up really high when you left and, and fight your way back in. So uh, congratulations. Wow. This was, was uh, oh an exceptional season. You won. You won. Where's I can't. Being able to have done it in front of family and my best friends, it's amazing. I'm proud that I got to make them so proud. Never a doubt, right? Never a doubt. Thanks, Dad.